An unconstitutional act is not a law. It confers no rights. It imposes no duties. It affords no protection. It creates no office. First thing we got to do is we got to get in some definitions. We got to speak a common language. This is out of Black's Law Dictionary. A government de facto, a government of fact. You know, it's actually there. A government actually exercising power and control as opposed to the true and lawful government. Government de jure. A government of right. The true and lawful government. A government established according to the constitution of the nation and lawfully entitled to recognition. What we're about today is let's put in place, if, if we can realize there's been an overthrow of government where the de jure government's not in place, are we willing to put the rightful, lawful government back in place, or because of political correctness and what everyone else believes, we're going to, uh, well, all my friends like the de facto government. Let's just try to uh, uh, deal with this concept of a body politic real quick. All of you people are North Carolina citizens. And all of you people over here are illegal immigrants. Okay? Now, do you have two different political goals potentially? Let's say all of you guys are communists. Let's go that way. And all of you are North Carolina citizens wanting to exercise free government. And actually, I'm going to change it. I'm going to say these two are communists, and all of y'all are North Carolina citizens. Y'all are communists. What are they going to want to do? No, they're not. No, they're not. They're going to want to talk to you and you and convince you that y'all want to believe this. They're going to start creating a body politic, a people who have a common political belief. A body politic, a people who have a common political belief. They could just take all of you over to where there is no freedom anymore. But what happens if we have these two communists over here and they've got a group of about six and by force someone comes in here and says, all you not your government anymore. You're not allowed to vote unless you sign an oath of allegiance to the Communist Party. Okay? And then at this point, now you're a communist body politic. The body politic was changed from the free people of North Carolina to this. Was it done by the consent of the people? It was done by force. And that's what we're going to see in Reconstruction and Civil War is the change of the body politic because a lot of people say the concept people have is well, we're, we're all living on the soil of North Carolina. We're all North Carolinians. But what changed? Where your oath is and where your laws are going to come from and the foundation of the laws. That's what's changed. And that's the, what's changed in this country is our oath of allegiance has changed from our state to the federal government. We no longer have local self-government. We've abdicated that and given it to the federal government where they can control every aspect of our lives, tell you how much money you can keep, tell you where you can live, take your property under eminent domain if they're going to build a, a shopping mall for the benefit of the people. We, we've, we've given everything over to them through an oath of allegiance and participating in their system that was forcibly put into place. We are not a union anymore. We are a nation under this. And what was the object of the Civil War? Preserve the union. Is there a difference between federal citizenship and state citizenship? Is our country broken or is it overthrown?